Hey guys, what's going on? First, we'd like to thank you so much for purchasing your Demon Electric bike. We're looking forward to your future excursions and rides all out in the cities or the trails or even just your suburban home. Today, we are gonna be talking about installing your Demon Electric bike. All Demon Electric bikes come 75% pre-built in the box, so it takes no time at all to put together your bike so you're ready to go out for that ride. Even if you're terrible at putting even the simplest things together, don't worry, we'll show you how. All Demon e-bikes come with the following tools and setup. Each bike is carefully packaged and zip tied in the box. So be careful when cutting the zip ties and packaging off that you don't cut any of the wires attached to your e-bike. Once you've taken your bike parts out of the box, make sure that you have the following tools in your toolkit. The first thing you're going to want to install is your kickstand. If you notice, your kickstand has two holes on the top here. Those two holes also match these two holes on the bike's back left flap. You're going to place just behind, you're going to place the kickstand, and you're going to match those two holes with each other. With those two holes, you're now going to put in the screws that were inside on your kickstand. They look like this. You're going to place one, match it. You can use your hands here because it makes it really easy to just turn and find it. There we go. Once you've got one screwed in, then you can grab the other one. And again, match, align, place, and give it a nice spin in. And you're turning it clockwise. When it starts to get a little too tight for your fingers to screw them in, you're going to use your five millimeter Allen key. And you're gonna place that Allen key in, and you are going to spin, turning clockwise. Excellent until it becomes nice, tight, and secured on both ends. Got one side, let's get the other. Perfect. Now you've got your kickstand in. It's now time to install your pedals. You've got a left and a right pedal, which will have a little L or R indicator on the top. These are also pretty special pedals. They can fold up because the Rebel is a fold-up bike. If you apply pressure down and push it out, you've got it folded. And it's really simple to put it back up simply by just pushing it. Fantastic. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the pedal into the crankshaft here. Simply, Look at the letter. This one is R, so it goes on the right-hand side, while this pedal says L, so that goes on the left-hand side, since we're on the left-hand side of the bike. You also spin the pedal in the same direction that the letter is indicated on the top here. So because this is L for left, I'm also going to spin my pedal counterclockwise in order to get it in. Simply place it in the hole, give a little pinch and a twist, Excellent. There it is. And as it goes in, you can still use your hands until it becomes just a little bit too difficult. Once it does, you can stop using your hand and it's time to use the 15 millimeter wrench here. So that's the thicker side on these two sides here. And you're going to just get it to fit, apply a little bit of pressure and a spin. So it's nice and tight in. You'll do the same thing on the other side. You're gonna grab your handlebar and you're gonna match and align it to the right side. You're then going to align the ring with the handlebar here. Excellent, nice, super easy, super simple. Next thing you're gonna notice that on the back here, 
you've got a couple of slits and you've got a nice hole. When you're installing the handlebar, you wanna make sure that the rings hole and this hole match each other. But at first, you don't need to worry too much. Let's just get that in there. Nice. Now that we've got that there, keeping it nice and straight, it's now time to align. You're gonna use a little bit of pressure until, oh, excellent. The holes match each other there. Perfect. This is where you're gonna need your one millimeter and the small, tiny little pin here. You're going to spin this around for you so you get a better look and a better see. There's a side that's got a hole and there's a side that's flat. The flat side you're going to just screw in with your hand, be as careful as possible and really keep an eye on it until you can't screw it in with your fingers anymore. That's where you're gonna take the one millimeter, put that in and start spinning it clockwise. As you spin it clockwise in, soon it will get tight. Excellent. And that is the first part of putting the handlebar in. Now it's time to insert the clasp so then you can adjust the handlebar at the height that you desire. You've got a little few components that go along with this, but just follow along. It is actually pretty simple. In the clasp itself, you've got the main handle here, and you've also got this small little black nub. You're going to thread the small little black nub through, and in that small little black nub, there is also a little hole there. You're going to really need to focus in order to keep that one going, not to worry. You've also got this little tiny gold topper. You are going to first thread this big screw through the top of the clasp there. With the rounded end, you're going to then put that on top there. Now here comes the fun part. You're going to align and spin everything all together, keeping this nice and open until it's tight enough to close and open. Once you've gotten that, you can adjust the height, give it a nice little tote, and your handlebar will stay at the same height that you want it to be. Let's install the light, really easy. All you'll need is the five millimeter Allen key. At the front here, you've got a tiny little screw. You can just unscrew it with your hands and you're gonna take that out. Next, you're gonna take your light, and if you notice, there's a metal part here that's got a nice little opening, and you're just gonna align those things together. So, give it a nice spin, make sure the washer is in. I like keeping the light at the top here, so then it's got enough room, and you're gonna spin, you're gonna spin, you're gonna spin, until it's becoming a little too tight for your hands to spin it, and now this is where you're gonna use the Allen key. Place it in, spinning clockwise, Perfect. There we go. We got your front light installed. Now it's time to install the fender. Thankfully, this fender is unbelievably easy to put in. On the back of the fork here, you've got another nub that's just like the one that's at the front with the headlight. So simply twist it off. Excellent. If you notice on the fender, you've got a little metal portion here also with a hole through, and you're gonna thread both of those things through. So coming from the back and around, Pulling it to the top here, apply a little pressure, and find that hole, start spinning it in. Once it becomes really difficult to do with your fingers, this is where you're going to use the 5mm Allen key, place it in, excellent. And turning clockwise until it's nice and fastened in at the top. We're now going to install the back of the fender here. You've got these two metal springs here, and on the side of your suspension fork, you've got two screws. You're going to unscrew the one screw, spinning it counterclockwise. Make sure to keep the washer on it. Don't forget, the fender is bendable, so you can give it a little push in order to get where you want to go. So you're gonna give a little bit of a push, and you're gonna line the hole, and give it a nice spin in. Really, really easy. And once it becomes a little too difficult to spin, 
Then you're gonna take the four millimeter Allen key, place it in, and give it an extra spin until it's nice and tight. Perfect. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Zip tied to your wheel will be the caliper. Think of the caliper as the thing that connects the fork of the bike with the wheel of the bike. You've got two ends, you've got a lever, which will tighten it onto the fork, and you've got a little cap with a little spring there. You're gonna unscrew the cap and the spring, and on the wheel, you'll notice there is a hole that goes to the middle, and you're going to thread the caliper through, and then you're gonna put the cap with the spring right back on, give it a couple of spins clockwise, nothing too hard, and your wheel will be good to go. It's time to put in our wheel. If you notice the large silver disc brake here, you've now got the disc brakes itself that we're going to insert it to. There's a small little slit here and you're gonna fit this disc into this side right here. So simply take a look at what you're doing, align things up, take a little bit of the time until it's nice and fits right in. Once you have it there, you're going to start to tighten the clasp on the side here. And then you're going to close the lever on the other side. And there, you have your wheel on. Installing the cable is unbelievably easy. You've got two arrows, and you want both of those arrows to point at each other when connecting. You'll find the arrows in dark black on your connectors here. Once the arrows are facing, give it a little push and a click, and your e-bike is now connected. On your handlebar, you'll notice a pair of keys. These keys are used to access and utilize the battery that is on your Rebel bike. In order to get it going, simply cut the zip tie. And now, you'll notice that there's a keyhole at the front here. Match the key to the hole, push it in, give it a twist. There's a dial on the top of the battery here. Twisting it one way or the other will unlock the battery. Once you've unlocked it, battery is easy and simple to take out. This is how you can charge your battery if you choose not to charge the battery with the bicycle inside. To put it back, all you've got to do is click and push, and you're good. You can also charge your battery inside the bicycle. If you notice on one side you've got a little rubber flap, you simply open it up. That's where your AC adapter plug can go. And simply just match, put it in, and you're ready. Folding and unfolding your Rebel e-bike is unbelievably simple. There's a couple of clasps that make the bike fall into place. You have one that's by the handlebar here, that's just a little lift and a push out, and the handlebar comes down. You also have a clasp in the center here that's got a little push button that you're gonna push away from yourself, and you're gonna push the clasp out. Use a little bit of manpower there and you're going to lift and bring it all towards in the center. Nice and simple, just like that. Putting your Rebel back together is really simple. You'll find the middle clasp that once you've unfolded your bike, you're gonna close nice and tight with just a little click sound. And it's the same thing with the handlebar. Once you've brought the handlebar upright, all you need to do is clip in the clasp and you're ready to go. It kinda looks like this. Open it up, really make sure that all the parts are connecting through. Clasp closed, and making sure that the handlebars are facing the right way as well. Closing the clasp, and your bike is ready. Demon wants to thank you once again for choosing us for your e-bike ride. Now that you're ready to go, why don't we see how your bike handles? <laughs>